Hey guys, today's video is about feeling your affirmations, having an emotional response to your affirmations, the emotion caused by your affirmations. When you are doing your affirmations, does there need to be an emotional reaction? So this is again a follow-up video that was requested. Um, I also just filmed another requested video that just uh, I just finished filming, which probably went up before this one, maybe one or two days before. And yeah, another requested topic. I think you guys will all be interested. It's definitely a de highly debated topic. And it kind of goes between law of assumption, law of attraction, you know? One states uh, that emotions are key and the other one says, well, it's just your thoughts. And I focus and teach and believe in that emotions have nothing to do with the result of your manifestation. But I am gonna get into uh, kind of the nuances of it and my opinion and why certain things do and do not help. So if this is a video you're interested in, please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. You can stay up to date with all my content and it would mean a lot to me. And I do offer coaching. If you want to coach with me, uh, that is a service that I've been offering for a while now. I have a lot of, a lot of clients, but I always have space for new people. So if you are interested, um, do get in touch with me. And all the information is on my Instagram, which is in the description box. LOA coaching, not my personal page with my name, but LOA coaching, that's my coaching page where I offer coaching there and also email coaching. So yeah, do get in touch if you're interested and now let's start the video. So when it comes to an emotional reaction whilst doing your affirmation, so basically it's the equivalent of feeling it real. So I think I would, I would compare it to that just to actually put a label on it. But yeah, when you're having that emotional reaction and feeling as if the affirmation is true, um, it does of course help you feel positive. There's absolutely nothing negative to do with that. But the negative thing is when people feel the pressure or the belief that if they don't feel the emotion, it won't come true. That's where the issue stems from. But the actual emotion and uh, yeah, emotional coherence with the end result, so feeling confident, happy, relaxed, satisfied, grateful, whatever it may be, it's positive, right? It's gonna help you feel more relaxed, more positive, help you just stay in a relaxed state. So yes, it does impact the mindset, but it has nothing to do with what you're actually saying. You can, so I'll get into this more in a moment, but yeah, basically it does help you feel relaxed, but it has nothing to do with the end result. It's the thoughts that you are thinking that is actually creating that end result. So the emotions is kind of like the cherry on top. It's a positive thing. And of course I would encourage you guys to feel that, but when it comes to, you know, if you're actually asking me, well, is that going to help me get my manifestation? No. So that's why I never really mention emotions because it has nothing to do with actually achieving that end result. So my next point, which ties into what I've literally just said and explains it, is that the end result is not going to be affected by you feeling happy. If you feel grateful or excited or happy or in love or whatever it may be, um, or loved, which would be you know feeling loved by an SP, for example, that's fantastic and that's helping you get into that mind, the correct mindset, right? You shouldn't be feeling anxious or sad, it's so much better if you do feel positive, but that has nothing to do with keeping your thoughts in check. If you do not check, check, keep your thoughts in check, you know, stay aware of what you're thinking throughout the day and, you know, realize, uh-oh, I'm spiraling, you know, I just saw a happy couple walk down the street and it made me think about how I haven't spoken with SP in a long time or you, one of your friends got a promotion and you felt a little jealous maybe. Um, or you felt a little sad because you thought, oh, that's what I'm trying to create for my life. You know, you recognize where those reactions come up and those thoughts come up and it's okay, but you just flip it around. So it's about keeping your thoughts in check, aligned with the outcome that you want. And, you know, whether it's with the mental diet or whether it's just you setting aside 20 minutes a day and looping and looping that affirmation. So that is completely separate to feeling happy because you can go about your day feeling happy and excited and you know loving your life, but, and although, yeah, loving your life implies that you're satisfied with where you are, so it does help your manifestation, but feeling happy or satisfied in life does not suddenly change your belief that you're not with SB. You don't have the job you want, you're, you're still, at the same weight you've been and you're not at your goal weight, for example. Those things are not impacted by the emotion. We would all be either living a horrific life or the best life in the world if our emotions dictated 
where our life went, right? If you think about it, if you're going through a really hard time, well then that would indicate that if your emotions manifested, your life would fall apart completely, right? Whereas if you're having an amazing day, wouldn't that imply that the next day you'd just manifest all these amazing things because you spent the whole day so happy? So it, you gotta think about it from that kind of logical um, overall overview perspective. So yes, you can feel amazing, but that has nothing to do with the end result if you are not actually putting in the work with your thoughts. So you can do both if you want to work on both and be like, well, I wanna make sure my emotions are happy, great, but do not neglect your thoughts because that is what is actually changing your beliefs and therefore your manifestation. So the outcome is being created by the repetition of the words and the visuals. Whether it's you visualizing in sats or just verbally or in your mind looping the affirmation um, or as you loop the affirmation, it's creating visuals because your subconscious mind thinks in visuals and imagery it's that repetition that's really creating the outcome. So when it comes to feeling it real, um, mentally feeling it real, so having the mental, visual, internal experience of your manifestation being true is how I like to interpret or re recommend to you guys to feel it real, not just emotionally. Don't sit there and try and get into a state of gratitude. That's amazing, but unless you're literally telling yourself, do, unless you're creating the emotion by saying to yourself, I'm so grateful to be with SP. I'm so grateful to have a perfect life. If you're not doing it in that format, you're not manifesting correctly and you're not changing your beliefs correctly because the emotion itself is not going to suddenly change the belief. Does that make sense? So mentally feeling it real. And I've also written down here that thinking from your affirmations, that is um, how you're getting into the correct mental end state. So convincing your subconscious mind of this fact and working on it day by day creates it um, creates a long-term approach, a long-term result, day by day, moment by moment, you're building up, right? It's almost like imagine you're put, you're playing Jenga or something and you're, you're putting each block each day, one more block, one more block, one more block until you've created a perfect tower of Jenga pieces. Um, and yeah, that is your manifestation complete. You're building something, Lego pieces. You're building something using Lego. Day by day, you're adding one more piece until you've got this beautiful end result and you know what you've created. So it's a long-term approach and with the repetition of your affirmations or visuals, like I said, as long as there's some kind of mental uh, image of what your end result is, you are creating the end result through that repetition. In the moment, as you're working on it consciously, like I said, mental diet or affirmations or visualizing, even scripting, if you like to do it through scripting, that's totally fine as well, um, but either way, in the moment, all you need to focus on is your thoughts. What words are you using? What uh, end result are you mentally focusing on? That's all you need to put your focus on and effort into, and the emotions will come on their own. And if they don't, that's also okay, but they probably will you know, just arise on their own, or maybe after five days of your affirmations, you'll suddenly feel a lot better, if you're being consistent, that is. Um, so it'll just come about on its own. You don't need to prioritize the emotions. I hope this clarified and that perhaps some people who watch this won't agree with me. That's fine, whatever. Um, I personally believe I'm speaking, you know, an objective fact about manifestation here, but it's okay for people to disagree. But I do hope you guys understood and found this useful at least. And yeah, if you did, then please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.